Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. I'm Abby and I react. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe below, like below, comment below, share below, and do what you gotta do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Okay, Eminem returns to the channel. I put a poll out the other day asking what Eminem songs you guys would like me to react to next and this was the one with the most votes so we're doing this one this is deja vu a lyric video so let's do it i'm ready dmc we have a mid-30s male found down unresponsive possible overdose substance unknown pulse is 60 and thready respirations eight he's intubated and we're bagging him now uh, BP 90 over palpation is cool, pale and diabetic, has aspirated, uh, GSC is 3, we'll update and route, ETA 10 minutes. As I fall deeper into a manic state, I'm a prime candidate for the gene to receive the drug addict trait. Blood pressure climbs at a dramatic rate, I seem to gravitate to the bottle of night, well then I salivate. Start off with the night, well I got the god just have a taste. Couple of sips of that, then I gradually graduate to a harder prescription drug called Valium, like yeah that's great. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. So, he's talking about his drug addiction and how it got to that point of being an addiction. Experimenting with drugs and having an addiction are completely different things, you know? And sometimes it does just get, it just gets too much and it goes too far and then it becomes an addiction. Like you said, you can graduate into the harder drugs, hard prescription drugs, Valium, you know? You feel all right. I go to just take one and I end up like having ace. Now I need something in my stomach because I have an ace. Maybe I'll grab a plate of nachos and I'll have a steak. And you think that with all I have at stake, look at my daughter's face. Mommy, something is wrong with that. I think he's acting weird again. He's really beginning to scare me. Won't shave his beard again. And he pretends he doesn't hear me. And all he does is eat Doritos and Cheetos. And he just fell asleep in his car eating three musketeers in a beer seat. Sometimes I feel so alone. I just don't know. Feels like I've been down this road before. So lonely and cold. It's like something takes over me as soon as I go home and close the door. Kinda feels like deja vu. I wanna get away from this place I do. But I can't and I won't say I try. But I know that's a lie because I don't. And why I just don't know. Damn. Damn. Addiction can have such a profound effect on not just the person who's addicted, but the person around them as well, and it affects their lives as well. No one goes out of the way to become an addict. You know, I find that really annoying and sad when people don't understand what addiction is and they're like, oh, they're just an addict. Like it makes them less of a person because the, the chemicals in their brain decided to have this change and the tolerance build up and before you know it, you're completely addicted to this shit and you can't get away from it. It can take over your whole life if you're not very, very careful. Everyone's different. Everyone who is an addict is different. If anyone thinks of an addict as less as worse than you're a piece of shit, all right, I'm just saying. Because what makes you a better person than them? Maybe just a nice cold brew. What's a beer? That's the devil in my ear. I've been sober a fucking year. And that fucker still talks to me. He's all I can fucking hear. Well, so come on, we'll watch the game. It's the Cowboys and Buccaneers. And maybe if I just drink half, I'll be half buzzed for half of the time. Who's the mastermind behind that little line? With that kind of rationale, man, I got half a mind. to Half another half a glass of wine. Sounds asinine, yeah, I know. But I never had no problem with alcohol. I look out for the wall. Aim for the couch, I'm out the fall. I miss the couch and down. I go looking like a bouncing ball. Shit must have knocked me out, cause I ain't feel the ground at all. Wow, what the fuck happened last night? Where am I? Man, fuck am I hung over and goddamn I got a headache. Shit, half a Vicodin? Why can't I? All systems ready for takeoff. Please stand by. Sometimes I feel so alone. It's so interesting because what he's talking about so many people say that like i'll just have i'll just have a bit you know it's fine it's just a bit it's just you know a one-off when in fact they do it every day i'll just have a little bit it's fine it's absolutely fine i won't take this any further and then like he said you get a headache oh i'll take a painkiller right 
You say? Fuck. This is very uncomfortable to listen to, but at the same time, I'm like really engrossed because I mean, I'm getting my degree in psychology because I want to work in mental health um, and addiction. So this is like, that's why I'm so engrossed because I'm like, well, what? how do people get to that point of becoming an addict? What do they do? Where do they hide their stuff? Because addicts are liars because they don't want to feel like less of a person. They're already probably ashamed of themselves because they, if they're past that point of no return, they don't want to admit that until they're ready. And addicts can't get clean unless they want to do it. You can't force someone to get clean. It doesn't work like that. They have to be in the right mindset to do it and it's just interesting how he how Eminem has kind of listed all the things he's done and he's opened up and allowed the public to listen to this song you know does that make sense yeah this is good this is really good okay I just don't know, feels like I've been down this road before So lonely and cold, it's like something takes over me As soon as I go home and close the door Kinda feels like deja vu I wanna get away from this place I do But I can't and I won't say I try But I know that's a lie cause I don't And why I just don't know Okay, wow. That was one of the most interesting Eminem songs I've heard. Just because it's strictly about his addiction and how he's talking about it. And like I said before, how he's listing off all the different drugs he was taking and how it got to that point. Because the more drugs you take, the more tolerant your body builds up, tolerance your body builds up. So you gotta take more to get the same effect. So you're constantly just taking more and more and more. And it's just very dangerous. Really dangerous. Wow. Thank you all who requested that. That was great. I really enjoyed that one. Really interesting. That was Eminem, Deja Vu, a lyric video. If you haven't already, please subscribe below, like below. Comment below, share below, and do what you got to do. And until next time, guys. Ciao.